So you want to step up your videos with some dope, dope transitions, some bomb luts and some killer effects, but maybe you're on a tight budget or you just don't know where to start. Well, this is the video for you. What's up guys, it's Gavin here and today I'm coming at you with another Tech Tuesday video. I'm gonna be sharing with you my favorite plugins for Final Cut Pro. And here's how I'm gonna break it down. You'll see this symbol if it costs a pretty penny, this symbol if it's moderately priced or low, low priced, and this one when it's free. Can I get an amen for free? Also be linking all the plugins in the description box below, so make sure you go down there to check them out. So the first plugins that I wanna talk about are LUTs. What are LUTs you might be asking? Well, I'll tell you. LUT stands for look up table, which is basically a giant filter that will go over your video clip. So let's say you've downloaded a LUT from one of your favorite creators. You will then apply that to a video clip. All of the colors and the pixels will be analyzed. And then that LUT that you've bought or downloaded from your favorite creator will be applied to that clip basically like a Snapchat or an Instagram filter. It's actually pretty cool. Now you can't upload a LUT without a LUT loader. And I like to use a very, very free one. This plugin is called MLUT. I like it because the quality is really great and they're offering it to you for free. So it'll be linked down in the description box. Once you have the LUT loader, it's basically going to go through your computer, find your designated LUT files, and then pull those into Final Cut Pro so that you can apply them to your clips. Now, there's also another way to edit the color schemes in your video, and that's with color grading. Final Cut Pro has its very own color grading system, which is fine, but if you want something that's a little bit more customizable, I love Color Finale Pro. It's a really great plugin for color grading any of your video clips. Color Finale Pro is going to give you so much variety and customization options to change the colors, to give it a more cinematic feel, to do literally anything you want color-wise. I think it's a great investment. It is gonna cost you a pretty penny of about $99, but it's totally worth it if aside from LUTs, you wanna kind of step into your own zone and tone in color grading. The next plugin is something I've actually used in this video a few times now, and that's titles. Titles are those fun text boxes that you put in your intro that you use to describe something to your followers and make something really stand out. The most common title type is a lower third, which is something that looks like this. It's literally in the lower third area of your clip. There are a lot of um, lower third titles available out there. I use them all the time in multiple video styles, whether it's a vlog, it's a fashion video. I'm always using them to help my viewers like you know exactly what it is I'm talking about or to make something I'm saying stand out. If you're enjoying this video so far, make sure to go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you feel like you've learned something so far, why don't you go ahead and comment fire so that I know that you learned something because that's all I want to do is help teach you something new. Now I'm rhyming. It's late. Oh, brother. Now, when I first started out, I was using Pixel Film Studio themes, titles, you name it. I was using most of their stuff because it was affordable. However, I have found as Final Cut is updating that there have been some glitches. It does sometimes move um, my Final Cut a little bit slower when rendering. Again, that's gonna come into play with how fast your computer is. So I started moving up to higher quality titles and effects, and that again was with Motions VFX. If you're just starting out and those things seem a little bit intimidating, I started out with their basic pack. It's about like $23 or something like that. It's great if you just want some simple sort of lower thirds just to add a little bit of oomph or if you're on a tight budget but you still wanna have something that's a little bit different than the de like designated final cut um, lower thirds, that's a great pack to start with. Now for the free free, you can get clean lower third. That is from fcpxfree.com. They have a lot of titles and effects and transitions for free that other people have created and uploaded to the site. I will say that you get what you pay for when you're downloading things from that site. I do know myself and a lot of other creators who have used the clean lower third before haven't really had that many issues, but I will just say, buyer beware. If you need something that's free and basic, 
that's it. Now, staying in the kind of title category, there are some of my favorite plugins called callouts. Those are things that help you kind of point your viewer's eye to specific items like this. But they also can track the motion, which I think is really cool. Um, the callouts that I like to use are M Callout Simple. That is from Motion VFX. It's a super simple plugin where you basically have text motion tracked. All you have to do, drag the style you want over the clip. And then I like to select like a high contrast area, something that's really gonna give it a lot of focal points to hone in on, and then just click track. Now, depending on how fast your computer goes, will determine like how long it takes and also how long the clip is, how long you want it to track, et cetera, et cetera. But for me, this plugin has worked seamlessly and really, really quickly. With Motion VFX, it's gonna cost you a little bit of an investment, but it's totally worth it. Again, it's not gonna crash your computer. It's not gonna slow down the rendering too much, if at all. But if you want something that's a little bit more affordable, there are a few of them on on Pixel Film Studios, so I'll link my favorites in the description box. And the plugin that I absolutely can't live without are transitions. I love a good transition, especially when they do stuff like this and that. At this point, you know I love motion VFX. I just started using them, so I'm currently obsessed because I'd started with some other brands that just were a little bit lower in quality, but now that I've invested into a really good plugin um, company, it's changed everything. The one that I highly suggest from Motion VFX is the Simple Path. It's a little bit pricey, but it's totally worth the investment. And it does exactly what the name does. It's just a simple transition pack. You've got wipes, you've got all kinds of crazy transitions that you can add on. They have amazingly simple, but amazing quality wipes, crossfades, zooms, all kinds of stuff. So I highly suggest you check that out. Now for the free free. Ryan Nangle, one of my favorite creators, has a bunch of free transitions, effects, titles, you name it. He's got a few ones that are free, and if you can't find one that's free, there are some pretty affordable options on his site as well, so I definitely would go ahead and check them out. I have a few um, plugins of his that I've paid for that I absolutely love. The next plugin that I really love is M flare. It lets you do some really cool light tricks like a sun flare, or let's say you wanna have a lightsaber fight. It's gonna give you this really cool flare effect which you can track onto an object, or if the sun is coming up and you wanna add a little pop effect as it just breaks the surface of the earth. It's such a beautiful effect. Again, because it's promotion, it's gonna be a little bit of an investment, but there are some other affordable options which you can find in the description box. And last, but definitely not least, is my favorite, favorite plugin, M Film Look. It's gonna be the best bang for your buck because it's an all-inclusive tool. You can do things like set your white balance, change your color saturation, apply LUTs. You can even apply LEDs flares, which I think is super cool. If you wanna invest in just one plugin that's gonna give you a lot of variety, this is it. The cool thing about its LUT capabilities is that it acts like a LUT library. So just like with the LUT loader, it'll be able to find and apply all your LUTs, but also it comes with 30 ready-made LUTs and 60 film presets. That is so much to work with. If you just wanna start with one plugin, this is the best investment that you're going to make. It's the all-in-one tool that if I had known beforehand, I would have just started with that. So I suggest if you're just starting out to invest in that. So those are all the plugins that I love to use in my videos and I think that you should use too. I know I mentioned Motion VFX a lot. This is not sponsored by them at all. I just really, really love the quality and the capabilities in their products, and I think you will too. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up so I know to keep creating more Tech Tuesday content for you. And if you haven't already done so yet, just hit that subscribe button so you can become a part of the community today. I would love to have you. All right, I hope you guys have an awesome week, and I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you go down there now, if you're just starting, um, nope. And doing some lower thirds. If you're, um, thumbs up.
That's kind of stupid, but just type it so I know that you're enjoying this at least. <laughs> it is. <laughs>